to another video by kdtech.org. I'm going to show you how to install Gummy Charge 2.1, which is over Gingerbread versus the previous Gummy Charge was over Froyo. Um, yeah, there's a couple different things you're going to have to take into fact that I'm starting from Froyo 2.0 Gummy Charge. Uh, so we're going to expect that your phone's there. If you need to get there, you can look at my other videos. Um, I want to go into a couple disclaimers. Uh, you have the potential to ruin your phone doing this, so be forewarned. Uh, you're taking risk of breaking your phone, and I cannot be responsible for that. Uh, this software was written by the Gummy team, and I'm not affiliated with them other than just a proud user, and I'm here to help show you how to get your phone to be all snappy like mine is using their products. Uh, feel free to donate to them. I know they appreciate it. helps keep motivation. Um, you'll find their information in my credits towards the end. And also uh, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube as that helps motivate me to keep making more videos. Okay, now we're going to look at backing up. Uh, SMS Backup Plus for your uh, text messaging as well as your call logs. Uh, Google Plus for your photos to auto-sync to the background and a little private folder. And then uh, Titanium Backup Plus for your apps and your app's data. Don't use your app data when you're going to a new ROM. You risk a lot of glitching and problems. Just use the apps. Okay, you're going to need to go to your settings, about phone, and look for your antennas. They're going to need to say EP1. And if they don't, you need to change that by either flashing them or if you're on 2.0 the way that my other videos have you set up, then uh, you'll be ready. Okay, if you're having uh, boot loop problems, you need to be on Clockwork Mod 4.0.0.8 Voodoo. Um, if you follow my other videos and came from 1.9 Gummy Charge to 2.0, you're going to have this built in already, so you won't have a problem. Okay, now you're going to need to go to Roots Wiki under Team Gummy Charge. You'll see that in my show notes. Follow the link to there. And download to your phone Gummy Charge Gingerbread 2.0. I go to the link via my phone, download it directly. It'll put it in the download folder, or you can sync it through your computer to your phone. You're going to also need to do the same thing with the Gummy Charge Gingerbread 2.1 update. It's a patch, it's not the whole ROM like 2.0 is, but you're going to need that for the second half to get you up to 2.1. Okay, now we're going to go into recovery mode with the phone powered off. Uh, hold the volume up button, hold the home key, and while doing so press the power button until you see the Samsung logo pop up. Once that pops up, let go of the power key, but continue to hold volume up and the home key. Uh, this will put you into recovery mode. And from there, we're going to wipe data, the partition cache, and Dalvik cache. Dalvik cache specifically, you must erase that. Um, use the volume keys to scroll up and down to the areas that you need. Um, and then use the power button to select. Uh, this At this point, if you're doing this, this is going to erase all your data and everything else so you need to make sure you've backed up. Uh, basically this is the point where you can't go back unless you have a backup. Go ahead and scroll through making sure to hit all those points. Again this will clean it up so that there's no hot boot loops, there's no uh, glitches and other problems that will ensue uh, coming from another ROM or in this case coming charge 2.0 Froyo. Uh, this will prepare the phone to accept a clean install of Gingerbread Gummy Charge 2.0 and then we're going to do the update patch of 2.1. After you finish this process I suggest rebooting the phone one more time uh, after you've cleaned up everything. Okay, now that you've got everything erased, we're going to go install uh, from SD card, and then you're going to select the top one again from SD card, and then scroll all the way down to downloads, which is, if you follow my directions initially, where your files will be. Uh, basically, if you just use the phone to go to the website and download, that's where it dumps them to if you use the phone directly and avoid using your computer. Go down to zip from 2.0. Select it by hitting the power button, go down, hit yes, and let it do its thing. Now it's time to wait.
okay once you've gotten to the screen that you see there um, go ahead and pick up the phone you'll scroll down to go back and then you will uh, reboot the phone allow the phone to do its thing in my case uh, it went eventually to a black screen it'll run through like the little gummy charge windows but it never actually loaded that's okay pull the battery for a split second put it back in go back into recovery mode and start the process back over and we're going to go to update of 2.1 now remember this is after you have let it sit go through all of its screens and it's dead in the water pull the battery again put it back in go back into recovery mode scroll through just like you did last time but you'll go into downloads and you'll go to 2.1 this time which is essentially a patch for 2.0 go down and select it let the process start you can go ahead and set the phone down again and let it go through its thing it'll go through all the different screens and then eventually in my case it didn't load the operating system it just put it on the phone and then the phone went dead you gotta pull the battery one more time after everything has gone through Go back in and erase the Alvit cache, uh, all the information, all three of those uh, cache spots, just like last time. Reboot the phone, and it'll power right up, and it will be the fastest, most snappy phone you've seen. It's uh, quite amazing, actually. And then from there, you can go ahead and start going into restoring everything. you got to sign into your Google account. Give the phone time. Don't mess with it. Let it sit. Let it boot up and do its thing. It's got to load all kinds of stuff in the background. Then you can go in once it's done. Give it 20 minutes plus. Once it's finished, you can start using Titanium Backup, applying all your applications that you had. Um, you can go back in and restore all your text messages and call logs uh, through uh, Text Message Plus there. And text message backup plus uh, and then you're pretty much set from there uh, we'll look at uh, possibly going into some themes okay and here's where I got the black screen and pulled the battery and started back over with erasing those pieces Once it's done, after uh, you've rebooted, technically for the third time, um, you let the phone power up through its do its thing, and then uh, you should get this screen. You just need to touch your Android guy. Most of you who are at this point should be pretty advanced users because you've gone through all the other tutorials. Um, go ahead and just start setting up your accounts, and again, you're going to let the phone sit for a while after you tied it in, give it a chance to spool up. All right, and there you go. You're going to have to jump into your settings if you want to see things like the battery percentage, change colors of things. And you got to reboot your phone after doing that, and it'll bring up all those fun options. Welcome to a new super fast phone. Make sure you go over and thank Team Gummy Charge. And subscribe to Crazy Dave on the channel there for YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs>